Hey guys. Okay, so last night was totally embarrassing. Uh, the guys down at the club have decided they want me to manage the team for their game on Sunday against Denton. That's not really why I'm here. I, I'm, I'm just supposed to be recording stuff in the background. Jeez, poor Bob. He looked really upset last night. Right, have you got it straight yet? Just point it on my face, Roz. Oh, for God's sake, Bob, I need to get to work. Maggie's not coming in, she's got swollen legs. Look, some things are more important than Maggie's revolting tree trunks. Bob! Right, well... <clears throat> right, is it ready? Are we on? Yes. <clears throat> Yesterday, an injustice occurred. A dedicated and fully competent football manager was cast aside in favour of a young American upstart. This is the worst miscarriage of justice since that Netflix television show, Making a Murderer, when that boat got banged up the wrong way. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Making a Manager. Last night, I prepared this letter which I fully intend to hand deliver to the chairman this very morning by hand. Now it is fairly hard heading so viewer discretion is advised. Dear Madam Chairman, yesterday was the worst day of my life. In fact, I believe it was the worst day of anyone's life, including mine. Apart from the day that I accidentally set fire to that old lady in the leisure centre car park. So on balance, I'd like my previous statement struck from my testimony. To say that I am disappointed to have been usurped by Keely Jones for the big match on Sunday is an understatement. And it's for this reason I feel I have no choice but to hand in my resignation from New Haven Football Club forthwith. I'd like to say that I've enjoyed my time at the club and feel that I've helped to shape many young players into fine, upstanding adults, some of whom have jobs. I'd also like to say that I'm making my own documentary, which I feel will shine a light on this terrible decision. So all that's left for me to say is God bless and thanks for my time at the club. Um, I hope one day to return under happier occasions. So it's yours sincerely, Bob Riley. Stop smiling, Bob. <laughs> so I used to play football here in the 80s. You know, Spandau Ballet, uh, sweets you can't get anymore. I don't know, uh, mouse trap, white dog poo. I don't know where that's gone now. Uh, Spandau Ballet. Uh, oh, look, hold on, there's Giselle. Giselle! 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 Hold on! <laughs> Come on, Roz! Hold on, girls, hold on, hold on, hold on! <laughs> hold on. Hold on, hold on. What are you doing? Uh, can you help us with our documentary? What? There's been a massive injustice, Giselle, OK? So can you just tell all the people how great I was? What? Uh, being your football coach. I like your sweatshirt. Oh, thanks very much. Uh, modelled on Brian Clough from the 1980s. Uh, or oh, 1980s, blimey. Going back now. Uh, Spandau Ballet, um, Mousetrap, sweets you can't get anymore. White dog poo, of course. Um, You're a dog poo, mate. <laughs> Could you buy us some beers from the office? Yeah, Bob Riley is the best person to be running the New Haven FC under 10s. His dismissal was a gross act of incompetence on behalf of the club. He really is a hero in this town. <sighs> Was that all right? Come on, love. Right. Prepare for a meeting of great football minds. This is going to be like Brian Clough resigning from Derby County. Hold on to your hat. 
Hi, Bob. Hi, Ros. Madam Chairman. What are you doing here? I've come to give you this. Huh. What is it? It's my resignation. Oh, OK. Thanks. Anything else? No. Yeah, no. OK. Sorry. Bye, then. Bye. A momentous day. Come on, Ros. OK. Right, so I've heard a rumour that Keeley has asked all the kids to have extra training after school today, which makes me sick. Ros has bailed on the documentary, so it's just me and the camera and the tripod. Right, I'm going to have to have a look over this fence, see what I can see. No, no nothing. Hold on. All right, we're in luck. OK. <coughs> That's Clive. Little... Oh, 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 oh! Oh, I've caught myself. I've caught myself on something. Hold on. Hold on. <coughs> oh. Morning, Mrs. Tebbit. <coughs> Mrs. Tebbit. Ros, it's me. Bit of a problem. I'm at the training ground. I've got, I've got stuck on a stump. Stump. A stump. I've got stuck on the stump. I've got my trousers wedged right on me. I've tried that, haven't I? No. Nope. No. All I've had is that Twix I nicked from the kitchen earlier. Look, can't, can't you come down and pick me up? Your mum can wait, can't she? A stump. A stump. It's a stump. It's a can't you just charming. Uh, bonjour, Monsieur. Pourriez-vous avoir l'obligeance de bien vouloir nous indiquer la direction du fort de New Haven? Oh, New Haven Fort. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've got this. Um... Uh, uno a droite, uh, due gauche. Uh, New Haven Fort, voila. Merci, monsieur. <laughs> Merci beaucoup. <laughs> Ma fille et moi, nous venons de, de Dieppe. On a passé une journée extraordinaire à New Haven. Et puis, on a rencontré un monsieur, un monsieur un peu bizarre. Oui. On lui a demandé, mais où est le fort de New Haven Et on s'est retrouvé à la piscine. Hello, Bob. Oh, officer. Um... A lady's phoned in reporting a man hanging from a stump, mm -hmm. filming himself mm. for the last four hours. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you, Bob? No, no, but um, I will <clears throat> I will keep my eye out um, for, for any of that. Come on, come on. No, I'm fine. Let me get you down. People really do appreciate what Bob does for those kids. They really do. But sometimes a change is a good thing. And this American girl, she just seemed exactly what the kids need right now. And my niece, she loves her. Yeah, fire brigade, please. I'm stuck on a stump. Stump. A stump. A stump. I'm stuck on a stump. It's just a stump. Don't look down at me. Is it because you're so tall? Thank you so